Hi everybody. Thought I would give you a quick tour of my little nail cave here. So on this firewall over here is all, or should I say most, of my polishes. Sometimes I keep them together by brand, sometimes by color. Who knows what I do. It's a really cool clock I got. I love it. It actually is a really cool nightlight for the whole basement. Down here, I have some of my acrylics, stamping plates, some of them. There's more plates. These are polishes that need to be thinned out. All my little backup stuff. All the things down here is my gel polish and my little travel light. And that's a little speaker that, little Bluetooth speaker. And someday if I ever get these lights strung to the ceiling, then maybe I'll have a little more light in here. I thought they were cute in the bottom, but they're not. I know you can hear my husband in the background, but sorry. This is my table. Those are all my stamping polishes and stampers and of course my lint roller popping. So I'm getting work ready to work on today. My little weird fingers that I work on with fake nails. Acetone in one bottle and that's just nail polish remover in the other bottle. Tape. All of my oils. Sorry, you can hear my husband in the background. All right, so this is my chair. Dog mom, of course. And when I have people over to get Manny, that's their chair. I covered an old chair with two bandanas. So that's the tour of my nail cave, which really is an extension to our basement. That's my big lamp, my light, and this is the holder for my camera when I'm taping. It's not the best setup, but it works right now. The other half of the nail cave. My husband and I ride a Harley, and this is the basement on the other half. My Diero's other bed, if one wasn't enough, she has one right here next to my setup. But she does like to sleep on the couch, or really the love seat. Our pool table. Places we've been and things we've done, we just save, save them. I'm going to zoom in a little. The lights are out down here, so. The other window in the basement, and we do have our pool table, extra sticks, more Harley stuff. And back there in the hallway, laundry room and bathroom, and there's another bedroom on this wall. For all of the wonderful things our puppies have done. And these are some puppies that have passed. But we keep all of their memories with us. So, again, this is what I see when I'm in the Manny Cave. I don't know why I haven't done a Harley Manny, because I do have a really cool Harley plate. And from this side of the room, that's where I spend my time, people. Right there in this little manny cave. It's in the basement. I have a hard time getting up and down the stairs due to a couple of back injuries. Actually, today is Friday the 3rd. I'm going in for injections in my lower back and my hips at 2 o'clock our time. So, trying to waste some time. No food or drink. 
But there we go. That's my manny cave and the things around me that make me happy. I love this little bicycle. Or motorcycle, sorry. Funny story, we bought it at Hobby Lobby, which is a couple of blocks, maybe half a mile or so from the house. And we were on the motorcycle, so we rode home with me carrying this motorcycle. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But it is fun. It does have its own little rearview mirrors. It's flat metal. Little shelf with some trinkets on it. Ball tigers. And a couple other things. Sorry, I'm bouncy. I had one cup of coffee. There we go. And that's my view to the outside world. I love this water. I drink a lot of it. So, that's my manny cave. Let's end with this because every girl should have one of these. Don't. It would work faster, but why risk chipping a nail? Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.